Epilepsy is a sudden, paroxysmal, hypersynchronous discharge of brain cells that creates a behavioral response or a behavioral manifestation. Sometimes it's visible, sometimes it's not as visible, but occurs repeatedly without triggers. It's essentially an electrical storm in the brain. There are different types of seizures that do not repeat themselves. When it spontaneously repeats itself without trigger, that's what we call epilepsy. Seizures can be caused by drug abuse, alcohol intoxication. Um, there are low blood sugars that can occur. There are things that we see as a single event that never happen again. Those are seizures, and they don't necessarily imply epilepsy. The percent of individuals that actually have epilepsy range from 0.5 to 1 percent of the general population in the United States. The effects of epilepsy are uh, important on socialization, uh, driving, uh, forming new relationships, and working. Uh, it's a very uh, costly type of condition to have, and it can affect the way people perceive what you do relative to um, affect you by promoting a staring spell or even a, uh, an episode where an individual will fall to the ground and shake all over. There are different types of seizures, and essentially the two different types are seizures that begin in one part of the brain or seizures that begin throughout the brain at one time, what are referred to as focal seizures or partial seizures and generalized seizures. And there are several different types for each of those different categories. The treatments for epilepsy are expanding each and every day. We have newer medications that have been brought to market, but more than 90% use anti-epileptic drugs to prevent the excessive discharge that leads to seizures. When drugs don't work, then epilepsy surgery and removing the part of the brain that's abnormal is what becomes recommended um, when there is no medication response. Uh, other devices can be used, electrical devices, to stimulate uh, nervous tissue to decrease seizure frequency, but rarely curing seizures. What Mayo Clinic has to offer are, uh, number one, the specialists that deal with patients that have uncontrolled seizures. Uh, there is a dedicated epilepsy monitoring unit where patients can actually undergo intensive study to determine what part of the brain the seizures begin in and to help determine treatment. There are state-of-the-art uh, techniques that are used at Mayo Clinic, including the ability to um, uh, image uh, different areas of the brain uh, in terms of uh, functionally assessing different areas of the brain uh, and in uh, surgically resecting uh, different areas of the brain if need be. That's what Mayo Clinic has to offer. My name is Dr. William Tatum, and I would be delighted to see you. If you uh, call the central appointment office, I would be very honored to try to give you my best opinion and best care that I can.